He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mayfield with it once more. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, Charles, if you think so far the early part of the preseason, who has stood out? If you take a peek back at the draft, it really, the first round, it was pretty defensively minded. But there were three quarterbacks taken, Kyler Murray first, Daniel Jones sixth, Dwayne Haskins 15th. Of those guys, they've looked pretty good. I agree with you, Brandon. When you talk about those three quarterbacks, and you're right, the rest of the draft, we're talking about big linemen, right? We're talking about defensive players, not a lot of skill players in the first round. But let's take the quarterbacks very quickly. Kyler Murray, by acclamation, went to Arizona. Everyone excited about it. And I think his team remains excited about his prospects. They're eager to see him play. He became the starter as soon as he was drafted. Daniel Jones, that was a different situation in New York. The fans weren't real excited about him coming in. But the reason they drafted him has a similar demeanor and talent to Eli Manning. And he's acquitting himself quite nicely in the early going. And Dwayne Haskins a little more up and down in Washington. But they love the big arm of this guy, and he's back at home. Remember, he grew up in Potomac, Maryland. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leonard Floyd. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10 at the 44-yard line. First down, a run with Cohen. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. On third down, Trubisky. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Terrence Mitchell. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. 
And if you're a lover of offense, this has not been the half for you thus far. Luckily for me, though, I'm sitting next to a lover of defense, and we have had plenty of that, including that interception. Yeah, and I mean, that still makes it a great game, doesn't it? Everybody talks about if the ball's not in the end zone and points going up on the board, it's not as much fun. I love these defensive battles. Something's got to give with these turnovers. Who can convert them into points? A nice pickup on first down, seven yards. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And a return out shy of midfield to the 46 yard line. Well, let's have some fun while we have a minute here. Fantasy drafts are in full swing. I know I've got my family fantasy draft coming up, Charles. Who would be your top three picks? I know that you're a noted fantasy football expert, so who would you take? Well, you've got to start with guys who are going to touch the football and put it in the end zone, right? You've got to score points. How about Saquon Barkley with the Giants? You know he's going to run it. He's going to catch it. When they get desperate, they may actually have him return it as well. Alvin Kamara is an absolute... matchup nightmare for everyone and Christian McCaffrey did he ever come off the field last year <laughs> and you know this guy he's a threat to be a thousand yard runner and a thousand yard receiver as is Kamara so this is going to be fun to watch I can't wait to see those guys do their thing but there are plenty of other guys out there too if Zeke comes along you got to take him Melvin Gordon if they both come to camp we'll see how that works out how about Todd Gurley and his health because boy when he touches the ball great things usually happen and then wondering someone like Le'Veon Bell took the year off, now a new offense. But if he starts going like he used to, he's obviously going to be a good one. Fresh legs is what you're counting on with Le'Veon Bell and a fresh start in New York with the Jets. And if you're looking for an exciting rookie, remember this. Kyler Murray's going to get the ball from the first snap, and they're going to leave him in there throughout. And as long as he stays healthy, he's going to pitch it around the park. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Jannard Avery. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Jannard Avery picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. All right, here we go. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Check 50, check 50. Final play of the half. It's Trubisky eluding the pressure right. He's going to let this go deep back over the middle. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. 27 yards there, a first down. First down, Coming to you, coming to you. The first down carry for Davis. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On second down, Davis. And he's going to get this one down near the... Five yard line. The tackle made by Christian Kirksey. A gain of a yard brings up third and five. Check, check. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. Watch Twitch. Watch the Twitch. Alert, alert. Alert, alert. On third down, Davis. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. He lost two, and it brings up four. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Alert, alert. Alert, alert. 44, 44. Mike, Mike, 44. Here we go. They're going on fourth down. It's Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Trubisky gives to Cohen, and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Loss of two brings up second and 12 at the 36-yard line. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They try again with Cohen, and he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Switch up, switch up. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Christian Kirksey drops him for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and long. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham.